Well, good afternoon. At the County of San Diego, we believe our most important charge is ensuring public safety. That's why the County Board of Supervisors established the Prescription Drug Abuse Task Force seven years ago. When I joined the Board of Supervisors in 2013, this was one of the assignments that I asked for to be involved in this. As the father of six young children, I thought it was one of the many things that we should be educating our community about. The task force is a multi-agency organization dedicated to curbing prescription drug abuse and heroin use throughout the region. The goal of the task force is to reduce access and increase awareness, and that's why we're here today, to increase awareness through policy, education, health, and enforcement. Every year we like to give a status report to remind people of this critical issue. Drug abuse ruins lives. It is especially troubling to see such high numbers of minors and young adults still abusing prescription drugs. This year's report card shows that 17% of 11th grade students reported abusing prescription drugs back in 2013. 17%. Well, that's a reduction from 2011. We hope that the new California Healthy Kids Survey for 2015 shows that students are heeding the message and they're saying and staying away from prescription drugs altogether. Now, as Nick mentioned, we do have some good news in this terrible battle to report today. There's a bright spot. And for the second straight year, prescription drug-related deaths have trended downward. They've trended downward. That is great news. The report card shows that prescription drug deaths in the region dropped by 6% from 259 in 2013 to 244 last year. Our fervent hope is that this trend continues downward. However, the misuse and abuse of prescription drugs continues to produce serious consequences. More and more people are ending up in local emergency rooms due to prescription drug overdoses. In 2013, the most recent data available, local emergency rooms logged 5,723 admissions from overdoses of painkillers, and that's a 51% increase, a 51% increase compared with 2012 when 3,791 emergency room visits were reported. One of our biggest challenges is that prescription drugs are so easy to get. And I know after our first press conference in 2013, I actually went home myself and looked in our cabinets. Unfortunately, I didn't find any because we're authorized foster parents, but I started talking to people and they told me that they saw used leftover prescription drugs in their cabinets. And they began to ask, what can we do with these leftover drugs? One is you can bring them right here. We have boxes here, we have boxes at our substations, but get them out of the house. You know, these are just so easy to get, and they often come right out of our medicine cabinets. Household medicine cabinets continue to be reported as the leading source of prescription drugs, especially painkillers. And parents are our first line of defense against teens using drugs. I encourage parents to educate themselves about this troubling issue. Talk to your children about the dangers of abusing prescription drugs. You can visit the San Diego County Prescription Drug Abuse Task Force website for more information where there's a lot of great information. Residents also need to stay alert for prescription drug abuse in our communities. If you suspect drug activity in your community, call your local police or sheriff's department. You can also report drug activity at this confidential hotline, and the number is 877-662 six three four eight thank you for being with us here today and thank you for getting this important message out to all